instance na ganun din yun na experience yun, and how did you combat? Yeah, um, alam mo, uso ngayon ang smart shaming, di ba? Mm -hmm. Cancel culture. Pero we hindi naman namin na-experience yun as real NGO workers, development workers. And federal land for continuing Siguro, to explore you have to be very and clear. endeavor Just to realize on what the full said. potentials of our real estate industry. You have to be very intentional with industry. what you're launching in digital media. So what you can afford to say offline, you should be able to say it we online. Invite so both signatories to take the their place for the commemorative Ang photo lang, session. Uh, when you try to launch programs, for example, you have to make sure that you're very tight-knit to your intentions, to your purpose. Kasi kami naman, as coming from the NGO perspective, Now, may I call on the executives of the following companies who will be signing our next agreement. Mr. Tatsuya Watanabe, Senior Managing Executive Officer and President of Energy Solution and Marine Engineering, Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Mr. Takashi Imai, President of IKS Company Limited, Mr. Edgar Ochua, Chief Executive Officer of Amber Kinetics Incorporated, and Mr. Sabine Aboitis, Chairman of the Board and Group President of the Aboitis Group, Aboitis Power Corporation. This is an agreement among four parties to form a consortium for the implementation of a mechanical energy storage projects that will be serving Philippines, Japan, Southeast Asian nation, and Australia. May we now ask the signatories to take their place in on stage to greet the president and the contingent. So, now we will have the photo session. In the meantime, the next signatory will be Jer Company Incorporated and Aboitis Power Corporation. We would like Mr. Sabine Aboitis to remain on the stage and call on Mr. Satoshi Onoda, President of Jerry Company Limited, to take their places at our signing table to sign another notable renewable energy undertaking. The parties wish to work together to assess the potential for greener fuels including ammonia and hydrogen, to support decarbonization efforts of both Aboitis Power and the Philippine energy sector, involving the development of ammonia and hydrogen value chains in the Philippines. We would like to call on the signatories to take their place to greet our president and the contingent. We wish to extend our thanks to Jetro and Aboitis Power Corporation for bringing the much needed new and green technologies in our quest to develop sustainable energy sources in the country. So ladies and gentlemen, we have 35 agreements today and we could have had more if there were no time limit. Okay. Now, we, we call on Minibea Mitsumi, our next sec signatory, Mr. Yoshi Isakainuma, Representative Director and CEO and COO of Minibea Mitsumi Incorporated. May I call on the Secretary of Trade, Honorable Secretary Pasquale, to note the agreement, letter of intent, that Mr. Kainomu is presenting to open up a new factory that will manufacture state-of-the-art optical image stabilizers and a notable solar power project in the country.
Thank you, Chairman Kainuma, for expressing this letter of intent to yet again open a new factory. Next on the list is an ASEAN mentorship for entrepreneurs and go negotio. I would like to ask Mr. Jose Maria A. Concepcion, the third of the Philippine Center for Entrepreneurship Foundation, Go Negotio, and the vice chairperson of the Micro Small and Medium Enterprise Development Council to take his place on the stage. He will be presenting a certificate of gratitude to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan for its support in the Philippines Entrepreneurial Mentorship Program. Mr. Yutaka Arima, Director General of the Southeast and Southwest Asian Affairs, Senior Official of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Concepcion. We're now ready for the commemorative photo session. The next signatory is Japan Tobacco Incorporated. May I call on our next signatory, Mr. Masamichi Terabatake, Representative Director, President and CEO of the Japan Tobacco Incorporated to take his place on the signing table. And Secretary Pascual to note his letter of intent. Japan Tobacco is now signifying its intention to infuse additional investments in the Philippines for factory expansion, marketed, marketing, and sales. These new projects will translate to 600 new jobs for the Filipino workers. We express our gratitude at this point to Japan Tobacco. May we, know, may we now call on Marubeni Corporation. I wish to invite Mr. Kenichiro Oikawa, Managing Executive Officer of Marubeni Corporation to take his place on the signing stage. May I also call the secretary to note the letter of intent of Marubeni Corporation. This agreement reaffirms Marubeni's intention to get into new investment projects in the fields of infrastructure development, as well as energy, transportation, healthcare, and afforestation projects. Thank you, Mr. Orkawa, Secretary, for the place of greetings. And now for the photo session. We will also call on the next signatory, Marubeni Corporation again, an Oriental Energy and Power Generation Corporation. Now I wish to call Mr. Satoru Harada, Executive Officer, Chief Operating Officer of Marubeni Corporation's Power Division, and Ms. Caroline Tanchai, CEO of Oriental Energy and Power Generation Corporation, for the signing of their Memorandum of Agreement. The agreement will now be talking about how both parties will pursue projects in energy transportation healthcare and afforestation. Thank you, Mr. Sasaki, and thank you, Congressman Tachai, for it. May I call again our secretary to take his stage on the signing table so that he will acknowledge the letter of intent of Brother Industries Company Limited, 
who will be represented by Mr. Ichiro Sasaki, Representative Director and President of Brother Industries. Brother Industries will construct a third factory for producing various types of printers. We give our sincere thanks to the signatories to Brother Industries for helping the country position itself as one of the most established printer manufacturing hubs in the world. And now we call on the next signatory, Taiheya Cement Corporation, represented by Mr. Masafumi Fushihara, President and Representative Director of Taiheya Cement Corporation. We would like to call again, Mr. Secretary, to note the intention of Taiheya Cement Philippines to expand their operations in the country with a kiln renewal project that will increase its cement production capacity. Taiheyo intends to upgrade the clinker production line, set up storage silos and raw material yards to introduce state-of-the-art production line designed to reduce carbon dioxide emission by more than 10%. Our sincere gratitude to Mr. Fushihara son of Taiheyo for again expanding their project and operations. May we now call on Ito Chu Corporation, represented by the next signatory, Mr. Keita Ishii, member of the board, president and CEO of Ito Chu Corporation. We would like to call Mr. Secretary to join him in the signing table. Itochu, through its partnership with Dole Philippines, is planning to significantly increase its pineapple production volume, which is expected to generate yet new employment to all its already robust workforce. Thank you, Mr. Ishii, for your long-standing trust and confidence in our country's agricultural sector. I wish to call to the stage at this moment, Mr. Noboro Saito, Representative Director and President and CEO of TDK Corporation. Secretary of Trade will now note a letter of intent from TDK to construct a second factory building adjacent to its current manufacturing facilities in Laguna Techno Park. They will manufacture next generation HDD heads and other components. Thank you to TDK Corporation for choosing the Philippines again as its preferred destination to manufacture these highly innovative and next generation hard disk drives. Next is Double Dragon Corporation and Iwata Chizaki Incorporated. Mr. Keigo Iwata, President and CEO of Iwata Chizaki Incorporated. Mr. Edgar Sia, Second Chairman. And Mr. Tony Tan Takchon, Co-Chairman of Dog of Dragon Corporation, is now taking their place in the stage. The agreement between Double Dragon and Iwata Chizaki is to 
put up a hotel project in Hokkaido, Japan. We would like to commend Iwata, Chizaki, and Double Dragon for endeavoring to bring this Philippine to Japan and your trust in putting your investments in the growing real estate and property conglomerates in the country. Thank you very much. Next in line as signatory will be Murata Manufacturing Company Limited, represented by Mr. Nagato Omori, Senior Vice President of the Ceramic Business Unit of Murata Manufacturing Company Limited. Thank you very much. May we call on Secretary, one of our busiest ministers today, to take his stage again. to note the intention of Murata to put up the design, manufacture, and sale of ceramic-based electronic components, a valuable local industry that supplies the key building blocks of modern electronics. Thank you very much. So, shall we call on the signatories to take their place of greeting on the stage? Thank you very much. May we invite you for the photo session with our contingent and the president. We are now calling NIDE Corporation represented by Mr. Koji Shimano, Senior Vice President, to join us on stage. President of our... Okay, that's Mr. Tatsuya Nishimoto will be the one representing NIDEC in the signing ceremony. Uh, we again call on Secretary Pasquale to join Mr. Nishimoto for the letter of intent presentation. As an additional investment and as part of its expansion plans in the Philippines, NIDEC plans to invest in new blocks in their existing Subic factory to substantially increase production capacity of medium size speed reducer gears to meet growing global demand. And this will for sure generate additional high level, high tech employment. Thank you to the president of Needed Corporation for gracing this event. May we now call on Mitsubishi Corporation, represented by Mr. Koji Ota, Executive Vice President, Group CEO of the Industrial Infrastructure Group Division and COO of the Plant Engineering Division of Mitsubishi Corporation to take his place on the stage. Mitsubishi wishes to affirm its intention to participate in infrastructure development, construction activities, transportation, commercial and re residential real estate development, and mass housing projects in the Philippines. Thank you to Mr. Ota of Mitsubishi Corporation for your valuable project. We are sure this will significantly help address gaps in our transportation and housing needs as the, as the economy continues to grow, accelerate.
Next on the lineup is Mitsubishi Motor Corporation, represented by Mr. Minoru Kinoshita, Corporate Officer responsible for ASEAN and Asanya of Mitsubishi Motors Corporation. Mitsubishi Corporation, or MNC, wishes to renew its target production commitments under the Philippine CARS programs, and it's expressing its intention to expand automotive manufacturing activities in the country by adding another locally assembled vehicle model in its production lineup. Our next signatory is Vista Land Lifescape and Mitsubishi Estates Company Limited. Mitsubishi Estate Company Limited will be represented by Mr. Yutaro Yotsusaka, Senior Executive Officer of Mitsubishi Estate Company Limited. And Mr. Manny Villar, President and CEO of Vista Land and Lifescapes. Vista Land, Lifescapes, and Mitsubishi Estate will enter into a joint venture for the development of land intended for horizontal and vertical residential projects, office buildings, and commercial and real estate development projects. Thank you to our executives in Vista Land Lifescape and Mitsubishi Estate for another potential development project in the Philippines. And now, may I call on Renova Incorporated, represented by Mr. Yosuke Kiminami, Representative Director and CEO of Renova Incorporated. Renova plans to expand its current renewable energy operations in the Philippines and is currently in active partnership discussions with a number of local Philippine companies for additional projects to develop renewable energy projects across the spectrum of renewable technologies. This is another very notable project in the country. Thank you to Renova. May I now please call on Toyota Motor Corporation, represented by Mr. Yoichi Miyazaki, Operating Officer of Toyota Motors Corporation. Toyota plans to establish a new light commercial vehicle manufacturing project and has further plans for additional investments, specifically for the localization of a wide range of automotive parts. Thank you to Toyota Motor Corporations. Now, shall we call on Sumitomo Corporation, represented by Mr. Yukihito Honda, 
Managing Executive Officer and General Manager of the Infrastructure Business Unit of Sumitomo Corporation. Sumitomo Corporation expresses its commitment to upgrade and upscale the Philippine rail systems. May we also call Secretary Bautista to join the signatories on the stage. Sumitomo Corporation is the winning bidder to supply 648 state-of-the-art rolling stocks for both the North-South Commuter Railway and the Met Metro Manila Subway. They expect to extend the current maintenance contract for the MRT Line 3 through 2025. Japan has been our strongest partner and provider of expertise in technology, especially in developing our rail network and mass transit. Our next signatory is an IT company represented by Ubicom Holdings Incorporated in Advanced World Systems Incorporated. May I invite to the stage Mr. Masayuki Aoki, President and CEO of Ubicom Holdings, Mr. Akira Konishi, President and CEO of Advanced World System, and Mr. Ramil Villanueva, Vice President of Alsons and AWS. The intent of this agreement is to signify the three parties' intention in the areas of software development outsourcing. We thank Ubicon Advanced World Systems for optimizing and Alsons for optimizing the potentials of our information technology industry. At this juncture, I would like to call the representative of the agreement for Hankyu Hanshin Properties Corporation and W Landmark Incorporated. We would like to call Mr. Matsuda Tomiyuki, Senior Managing Director of Hankyu Hanshin Properties Corporation, Mr. Norman Vincent Wee, Chairman and President of W Landmark, to take their places for signing, please. This agreement are, is actually parties coming together to signify their intentions and plans to co-invest in an REIT and joint venture in commercial real estate development activities. We thank Hankyu Hanshin and Landmark, two of our country's established commercial real estate brands for its strategic partnership. Next agreement is Korabe Industrial Company Limited. May I invite Mr. Takenobu Kanazawa, President and CEO of Korabe Industrial Company, uh, sorry, Corporation, to take his place at the signing table at the stage. May we again invite Secretary Pascual to note his letter of intention. Kurabe is investing in a production facility for the manufacture of automotive seat heaters, steering wheel heaters, and heating wires in 
Di pa Malvar, Batangas, in Lima Technology Center, Special Economic Zone. We wish to extend our thanks to Corabe Industrial for helping build our auto industry supply chain and ecosystem with these new investments. Next in our lineup is Kurabe Ayamaichi Electronics. May I invite Mr. Junichi Kamea, President of Yama Yamaichi Electronics, to please take your place in the signing table. Yamaichi plans to expand its investment footprint in the Philippines with a third factory for IC sockets for semiconductor testing and connectors with a target completion date of 2024. Thank you, Mr. Kamea of Yamaichi Electronics for your confidence in the Philippines. May I please now invite to the stage the President and CEO of ASI Corporation, Mr. Atsuhiko Hatano. ASI Corporation will be setting up a production unit intended to start a high-capacity facility as part of its expansion plans in the Philippines for high-quality products such as wiring harnesses. This is again expected to generate employment over the course of its three-year rollout plan. Thank you very much. Our next signatory is Tamiya Incorporated. It's a household name for enthusiasts of um, remote control cars. Our signatory is Mr. Nobuhiro Tamiya, Senior Executive Director of Tamiya Incorporated. Secretary Pasqual will note the intention of Tamiya to invest in the construction of a new factory in Cebu Light Industrial Park dedicated to the production of Tamiya's popular products such as plastic molds and RC cars. We thank Tamiya for its continued presence in the country. Our next agreement is going to be Kenko Tokina Company Limited and would like to invite Mr. Toro Yamanaka, President of Kenko Tokina Company Limited, to join Secretary Pasqual on the signing table. Kenko Tokina is planning to acquire a new factory building and establish a new company that will assemble SMP 
SMT products in 2023. The new SMT product line will produce electronic systems of range finders, rifle scopes, reflex sights, and other optical products. We wish to extend our sincere thanks to Keiko Tokina for bringing state-of-the-art optical manufacturing technology to the country. Our next agreement is Hitachi Aquatech Engineering PTA Limited and Phil Invest Development Corporation, represented by Mr. Okito Kakudo, Chairman of Hitachi Aquatech Engineering, and Ms. Lourdes Josephine Cotiano Miap, Director, President, and CEO of Phil Invest Development Corporation. The agreement is actually a decision of both parties to engage in the development, construction, and operation of a desalination facility to supply potable water to Metropolitan Cebu and engage in other similar projects. We thank Phil Invest Corporation and Hitachi Aquatech for boosting our water supply in Cebu and soon to the rest of the country. Okay. I would now like to call on Soji Corporation, represented by Mr. Masayoshi Fujimoto, President and CEO, to join us on the stage. Sojits Corporation will sign two letters of intent today. The first involves the building and development of a site for completion in June 2025. The project will seek to obtain LEED certification under the Green Building Rating System and certification that will ensure both health and wellness standards of the world. Thank you very much to Sojits Corporation. So, Sojits Corporation will sign a second LOI to build a digital telecommunications infrastructure project. And he will be joined by um, Mr. Maestro Holdings Incorporated by Mr. Eusebio Tanco. Both parties have mutual interests to collaborate in insurance and healthcare, logistics and education. We now come to the last two agreements of our 35 on the list. May I call on um, Marubeni Corporation, 
um, DACON Corporation and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to come on stage, please. Uh, the Secretary of Environment and Natural Resources, Ms. Maria Antonio Yulo Loisaga, will join Mr. Tsuyoshi Teragaki Marubeni Corporation and Mr. Isidro Konsunhi of DACON Corporation. They have entered an agreement to a joint carbon credit program through the JCM or Voluntary Credit System to establish a reforestation program in the Philippines. We wish to thank DNR, Dacon Corporation, and Marubeni for, for, for this joint credit mechanism project. And the last agreement is between the Basis Conversion and Development Authority and New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, NEDO, represented by Ms. Eileen Anunza Sean Souza, President and Chief Executive Officer of BCTA, and Mr. Shuji Yurimoto, Executive Director of NEDO, to do a ceremonial exchange of their MOU. This MOU involves the development of smart mobility systems, which shall include, among others, basic implementation of concepts and standards, as well as economic, financial, and technical viability of said proposed systems. Your Excellency, President Marcos, this concludes our 35 lineup of agreements to be signed up today. And please wait for his arrival statement so you know what he will bring out in terms of deals that were consummated and pledged during his official visit here. Now, may we call on His Excellency to de deliver his short message. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, the, uh, I would like to greet our former president and the president, present uh, deputy speaker, uh, former president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, uh, the, uh, our, the speaker of the lower house, uh, speaker Martin Romualdez. Uh, also joining us is Senator Mark Villar from the upper house of uh, the Philippine legislature. Uh, our ambassador to Japan, Ambassador Mylene Garcia Albano, uh, also one of the signatories and who is also joining us here is the former Senate President, uh, Manny B. Villar, the, uh, the Chairman and CEO of Japan External Trade Organization, Mr. Nobihiko Sasaki, esteemed business leaders and signatories from Japan and from the Philippines, my fellow colleagues in government, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I once again will thank you for considering the Philippines as a place and as a partner to grow your businesses. The government of the Philippines has been working to deepen the confidence in the Philippines of foreign investors and companies. We have been advancing vital and game-changing reforms to improve the country's business environment. And it is our hope that companies such as yours will not only find the Philippines to be an attractive investment destination. We are designing our efforts to encourage you to stay and to find our country to be a place where your businesses will thrive. We capitalize on economic liberalization laws and strategic reforms to attract companies like yours and facilitate ease of doing business. Our goal 
is that with you as our partners, the Philippine economy will grow stronger and will generate more opportunities for our people. With the Retail Trade Liberalization Act, the Public Services Act, the Foreign Investments Act, and the provisions of the Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives for Enterprises Act, or CREATE, our policies offer more encouraging incentives to support foreign businesses, including those from Japan. We have also eased restrictions on foreign nationals to own businesses in the Philippines. The Philippine government is also enabling cross-cutting mechanisms to ease investments. Very soon, you can expect reduced transaction costs in aspects of doing business in the Philippines. We are mandating involved government agencies to establish a green lane. The lane will streamline the processing of permits and licenses. We are prescribing a maximum of three working days for simple transactions and 20 working days for highly technical transactions. This will also offer a single point of entry for strategic investments. On a national scale, we have built confidence in our eight-point socio-economic agenda. This set of agenda will reinforce the Philippine econ economy's steady recovery and high growth trajectory. We build our efforts around the intentions to further promote investments, improve infrastructure, achieve energy security, create jobs, and develop priority industries. I hope you find it encouraging that our national priorities align with building enabling environments for companies like yours. Once again, I thank you all for your continuing interest and confidence in the Philippines. And I look forward to our follow through on our engagements today. And uh, as we look outside and see that the weather has closed up and the sun has, ha has gone into hiding, it is, does not matter because today is nonetheless a very, very bright day. Together, we can make investments happen in the Philippines. Domo regato gozaimas. Maraming salamat po. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much. Let us all rise to give a warm handshake to our president. え、大統領も再選されましたので、あの本日の LOI の調印、MOUの調印式はこれで全て終了いたしました。ご協力